What is up y'all welcome back for today's video I'm gonna be reacting to a couple episodes of Mob Psycho 100. So the last couple episodes I ended up watching got introduced to Mob the main character for this series and oh my gosh this guy is so damn powerful. We've already seen him kind of like exercise like a few spirits already and he did it without breaking a sweat and these spirits they look pretty pretty damn strong especially the last one that he exercised but Mob had no issue going against them whatsoever. So very excited to see how these next couple episodes go. So let's get started with the reaction and see what Mob Psycho 100 has in store for us. Let me guess, Mob is extremely slow. Yeah, he's extremely slow. I mean, it's gonna definitely take him some time to improve his body and everything, but oh my gosh, he is, <laughs> he was dying out there. He was dying out there. Thing is, I know how that feels. I know how that feels. Can I don't think like mobs powers can like go talk to aliens or anything. I don't think, yeah, I'm pretty sure he won't be able to talk to aliens or anything. And he think he's just, well, actually we don't even know what he can really do with his powers. So maybe he could talk to aliens. I sense a trick happening. I sense a trick happening. That is a very unusual smile. Something fishy is going on. Oh my gosh, just like that, just like that. He's like, oh, I have to go home. And she's like, you'll be popular. And he's like, I'm coming with. Just like that, he, mom, he was so easy to like persuade. They're called LOL. Is he about to join a cult? Are they about to have mob try to join a cult right now? Oh yeah, they definitely don't look suspicious. These folks definitely don't look suspicious. Not with those masks or anything. Oh, I think, I think that dude should have just kept his mask on. He should have just kept his mask on. He looked better with the mask on, my guy. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that was creepy. Um, whew, definitely something suspicious going on with this cult. Definitely something suspicious going on right now. Oh, oh, she's already starting to fall for it. At, right as soon as she, she got the mask on, she's starting to like, fall under their spell oh and she looked very weird as well okay she looks normal but when they first showed her she would look completely off so yeah i wonder how mob is gonna look i wonder if mob fell for it because i feel like maybe his psychic powers somehow saved them from not falling for it yep yeah it didn't work for mob it hasn't worked for him yeah it didn't work for him Ooh, could it be his psychic powers are like protecting him from it Ooh, 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 are we gonna see some craziness? Ooh, he's like more than halfway through his like, what was it again? More than halfway through his um explosion? Ooh, ooh, I wonder how far he's gonna get at like near the end of this episode since he's already like halfway through, more than halfway. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he didn't even, Mob didn't even do anything and these guys are laughing about it. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Okay, so yeah, that's what backfired. Because they're always laughing and smiling, they pretty much like lost without Mob even doing anything. So yeah, his whole thing kind of backfired. Was it spoiled milk? He mixed something in that milk. Oh, dude, it's cheap. This boy is cheap. <gasps> oh, Mob, Mob, he's about to do something crazy, ain't he? He's about to do something crazy. Is, it Mob, is Mob about to do something crazy right now? Oh, so just like, just his feeling about that, like kind of made them all like, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so Mob's powers, he kind of like unleashed it a little bit and everyone got like the spell that was on them for like smiling and laughing all the time disappeared. And then this dude ends up using his powers to make them all smile and laugh again. Oh, I sense a crazy crazy fight coming i sense something crazy coming right now oh it's up to 74 percent now it's up to 74 percent oh this is nice oh my gosh we're getting so close it's it's no it's not affecting mob at all it is not affecting him at all yeah it's not affecting him at all this dude he's just gonna keep trying and trying no it doesn't work on mob Okay, so that's why he's like not working. Mob just has no like emotions whatsoever. He's just like a hollow shell right now. We're at 88%. <gasps> We're at 88%. Ooh. 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 Oh my gosh. Things look like they're about to happen pretty soon. 
92? Oh, this dude just keeps on talking and talking like this. Mobs like explosive, like um, progress is just going to keep going up and up. You're not a person. What? Wait, what does he mean you're not a person? So he's an evil spirit. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So this dude was just kind of like possessed, right? And he, he wasn't an actual person. So with mob like having these powers, right? But like their emotion, he like he shows no emotions, right? Because like he wasn't able to laugh or anything. And so like I said, like he he seems to be like an empty shell. But what if what's going on is that mob, his powers are connected to his emotions. So because he like at a young age, he knew that his powers were like extremely powerful and it was connected to his emotions. He pretty much like like um, what he bottled up, bottled up like his emotions. He repressed his emotions just so his powers didn't like didn't go crazy. And if that's the case, having your powers be connected to your emotions especially in mobs case that would be extremely powerful so maybe that's why like he's kind of like an empty shell because he's like he's bottled up his emotions for so long just so his powers don't like go like run wild or anything and now he's probably at his limit so that's what the explosion is he's at his limit so now he's gonna just go crazy oh or he's at a hundred he's at a hundred he's at a hundred oh Yo, 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 he's at 100 now. No way, no. He looks insane. He looks like a completely different person right now. Oh, this is gonna go crazy. This is gonna go crazy. He, this dude can't even touch mob. He cannot even touch mob. He cannot even touch him. And each time he does, like his limbs are just like getting destroyed. So trying to hurt Mob ends up hurting him. Oh, this is, oh, this is beautiful. Mob looks so insane. Yo, yo, what, what? Yo, oh my, he is a completely different person right now. Oh my gosh, he looks insane. These are his emotions. And this is what happens when he shows them. Oh my. This dude, extremely OP. He is extremely OP. Oh, this is it. This is the final blow. This is the final blow. This is the final blow. Oh. Oh. Just, just. He just did the Itachi two fingers. Dude exploded. That was beautiful. And then he, he's just he's just back to normal now. He's just back to normal now after all of that. So yeah, they weren't really laughing for themselves. They were for they were being forced to laugh by his like his psychic power. So like even though they were laughing and smiling, that's not how they really felt. So yeah, Mob pretty much did end up saving them, even though he felt like he felt like he didn't really save them because he just made them not happy anymore. Huh? Oh, and his okay. So his his explosion um, progress was from zero, and then went to twenty as soon as he saw that thing. I wonder how close we're gonna get to mob end up like going to that insane like just that insane mob thing all over again. You know, like when he ended up sh actually showing his emotions, like he's saying like those like that power that he was like showing against that um that high level evil spirit you know he was telling him like oh the this is my emotion these are my emotions and he was just extremely powerful so hopefully we get to see that again very soon but yeah that was my gosh i missed this show it has been so long since i last seen it oh my gosh this <laughs> this was a great episode this this is so this was just such a beautiful episode but yeah that was that was a great episode seeing mob just go crazy like that and like finding out that like his powers are connected to his emotions and so since his powers are extremely powerful he had to suppress his emotions just so 
his powers don't end up going crazy. But over time, you know, his the, that explosive progress goes up and up. And once it hits 100, he is just like fully powered. He is just insanely strong. He took down that evil spirit like it was nothing. Like each time that evil spirit attacked him, it didn't even touch Mob. And it ends up hurting that evil spirit instead. And then Mob just, you know, does the Itachi like two finger touch onto, onto that evil spirit and just destroyed him. That, that was beautiful. That was amazing. No, yeah, it's really nice to see that like his powers are connected to his emotions. I think that just makes his powers a whole lot more powerful because it is like emotion based. So like, you know, because he has to suppress his emotions just to make sure his powers don't go crazy. I think that's just a little nice touch. But again, that was a sick episode. And it's interesting to see that, you know, at the end of the episode, you know, he was at 0%. But once that floating thing just showed up in front of him, his progression went to 20%. So that means there's a possibility we're going to see Mob do that insane thing, you know, do that like the insane transformation or whatever. I know it's not really a transformation, but like, you know, just seeing Mob be in that 100% like explosive thing. He looked like a completely different person. So that's why I'm calling it a transformation. Hopefully we get to see that again very soon because that's that was just insane. But yeah, that episode was so damn good. Let's just get started with the next one because I am so hyped to see how this keeps going. This tiny child did that to them? This tiny child? Oh, so he is a whole lot powerful than he looks. That tiny child took out those three dudes, three or four dudes. Ooh. Wait, so that's the evil spirit that he took down? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mom is ruthless. No, but this is... Is that the evil spirit that he ended up taking down in the last episode? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's him. Dimple. That's the dude. Yeah, that's crazy. I was I thought he completely destroyed him. So this dude wants to be basically God. He wants to be basically God. So that's why he made that like religious cult. Oh, that's that's kind of funny. Knowing like especially with the fact that he was just so weak that he wants to be a god. That's interesting. Oh, and Ma's just gonna kill him right here. He's just gonna kill him right. He is so ruthless. He's just gonna kill him right there. Okay, never mind. He's not gonna kill him. He's not gonna kill him. So like so are they gonna be partners now like did mob just get himself a pokemon or like a digimon you know oh he's just gonna try to possess mob oh he his whole plan is to possess mob since he's so powerful but i wonder if that would work i wonder if a psychic could get possessed he's just using photoshop to get rid of that <laughs> he's just using photoshop to exercise that photo spirit <laughs> I, I love Regan. I love this dude. Yeah, he's not going to be able to see him since, like, he has no psychic powers whatsoever. So, like, he's just not going to be able to see him. Okay, no. He managed to turn that around on him. He was pretty much like, you know, you're too weak for me to see. So, he managed to turn that around on him to keep his cover up. Dude is smart. He is very smart. Oh, I respect him for that. Saying like mob is not some sort of sideshow. I respect him for that. This dude, he is the real one. Well, he doesn't have everything, you know. Mob has powers. This dude doesn't, so but I wonder if he ever kind of gets jealous of that. That fact that like mob has these powers and he doesn't. So I wonder if he ever gets kind of like jealous for it. So yeah, it seems like he might have been a little bit jealous because like he always thought that he would he would end up getting those powers too, but he never did. So yeah, maybe he got, maybe he's like a little bit jealous of it. Then as mom could be a god if he ended up using his powers. And he just cares about muscles. <laughs> he just cares about muscles. But I mean like, yeah, like with his powers, he could pretty much be some sort of god. With like, based on like how powerful he is. Oh, are they going to tell him to go fight, fight the dude that beat him up? Are they going to be like, yo, we got a problem with this guy. We need you to beat him up. Yeah, so he, they're pretty much hiring them to kind of like, you know, take on the guy that like beat the crap out of them. Man, that'd be interesting. I, I'm pretty sure they're not even going to be able to win. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Woo! Woo! With one hand. Oh my gosh. Yo. <laughs> These dudes are physically damn powerful. Oh my gosh. Look at that combo. Look at his combos. Oh! Yo, he is he is ruthless as hell too. Oh, so he was just pretty much using mob as bait. So the body improvement club would have no choice but to go save him from the other ruffians. And so they were just going to fight it out that way. Oh, so yeah, he was just using mob as bait. Oh, that's not good. Actually, that might be good because if mob does end up getting in trouble, he could always just use his psychic powers. But I mean, you never know. Mob doesn't like really using his powers that much, but in this case, he might end up using it. Yo, I respect these boys. I respect these boys going in to go save Mob. I respect them 100%. I feel like this dude might end up having psychic powers. Because I feel like... I don't know. I feel like he... Even though he is, he seems to be strong, maybe he's strong with psychic powers, but not strong like straight up physically. So I think he might end up having psychic powers. Damn, look at this. Look at this. Ooh, it kind of looks like it's going to be a war right now. Ooh, ooh, this is going to be cool. This is just going to be nice to see. If it if it's going to be like a, like kind of like somewhat of a full-on battle with no psychic powers, I'm kind of going to like it. Okay, so it seems like there's not going to be a fight. Oh, wait. He wants there to be a fight. This dude wants there to be a fight. Ooh, so we might actually get something crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> There's just no, like, there's no point for them to fight. These guys are way too weak to go against the body improvement club. Look at that. They're handling them like it's nothing. Okay, so now this one will actually be, I feel like they're making it seem like this one's going to be actually really good. Because this guy looks completely, like, he, he has a different vibe to him. So I wonder if this guy ends up having psychic powers. Because then if he does, that means Mob could actually fight him. Oh, oh, quick as hell, quick as hell. Okay, so either, yeah, maybe he teleported. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really thinking this dude is going to have psychic powers. Like he's going to have powers like mob. Oh, oh, his gentle fit. Yeah, this dude has to have powers. This dude has to have powers. There's no way he, there's, there's no damn way he doesn't have any powers. Oh my gosh, he does have powers. Yo, that means Mob could go get, like, go against this dude. If, if this guy, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. If this guy and Mob end up having a psychic fight against each other, that would just be so beautiful to see. Having Mob and this dude go against each other using their psychic powers. That is going to be beautiful to watch. And I think it's really going to be so sick to see because this dude seems to be extremely powerful. You know, he seems to definitely be powerful than the other spirits that Mob has taken down. So if this dude is as powerful as I think, him and Mob going against each other is going to be a really great battle to see because I think Mob might have maybe a little tricky time going against him, but at the same time, I don't think he's going to have like a tricky time going against him. But yeah, that fight, I think that fight needs to happen because it would look so beautiful. But not a bad episode. This was a really cool episode to see. We get to see another psychic user and he seems to be pretty damn powerful. So yeah, again, just very excited to see him go against Mob and then Taruki. This dude took down the entire body improvement club and now Mob is the only one left standing. So again, hopefully we get to see that fight very soon. Also like that we got a little bit more with like Mob's brother, you know, Mob's brother, like, you know, he, it seems like he really wanted psychic power. So he thought because Mob got them, he thought he was going to get them, but that doesn't seem to be the case so he's you know he is kind of like a little bit jealous about that but again that was a pretty damn good episode and i know i said i was only gonna watch a couple episodes but i decided you know what i'm gonna watch one more so let's get started with the next episode so yeah this dude is like the the second um like psychic we've met uh, so this is gonna make it even more interesting to see Ooh, he's at 47 right now 
with with his explosion he's at 47 if he somehow jumps to 100 during this fight oh my gosh that is oh that is going to be so nice to see if he jumps to 100 in this fight oh oh yo that did not affect him that didn't affect him whatsoever oh my gosh that did not affect him so his telekinesis wasn't able to move mob so like can he even do anything against him if like that first attack didn't do anything could he do like really do anything against him like like that he probably throws objects and everything at him but like i don't know i feel like it still really wouldn't work against him oh my gosh oh my gosh he put up a shield he put up a barrier dude mom he's not even doing anything like he's just like straight up just standing there just taking it Oh my gosh, wait, he's the one that told him? Wait, he's the one that... I thought it was someone, like, legit was telling him, like, you know, about his powers and everything. I thought, like, it was going to be someone legit. But no, it was Regan telling him. I was not expecting that to come from him. Okay, so he... So, yeah, Mob's not going to end up using his powers because he doesn't want to keep relying on them. Ooh. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting how this whole thing is going to keep going if he's not going to end up using his powers. Oh, he just cracked his bones like that? Oh my gosh. Yo, this dude is just going all out on him. Oh, he can go back into his, into the giant form? He can go back into this? Oh, and he's not even phased by it. He's just going to... He's just going to take this dude down easily. He's going to take him down easily. Oh. Oh, he stood no chance. He stood no chance. Oh, he already... Oh. Oh. Is Mob about to go crazy? Is Mob about to go crazy? Tell me. He is about to go crazy. Okay, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. Come on. Come on. Just go get up to 100. Just get up to 100. So even though he was annoying Mob and everything, he, he did have some sort of like sympathy or like he did kind of have some sort of like attachment to this dude to dimple so getting erased okay never mind i they did that whole thing for me <laughs> i thought he was actually like starting to care for him a little bit i mean yeah ma probably won't get hurt like you've you see what you've already done to him he's not even phased by it dude mom's not even phased by this guy he is not phased at all. But I think he's going to end up pushing Mob to the limit, pushing him to make him go at 100%. And then he's just going to realize, yo, Mob is on another level. Oh. Is, is he just going to try to kill Mob? Okay, so he has no intention of killing him, but... Oh, okay. Oh. 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 Oh, uh, did he just get a haircut? Oh, oh, messed up his hair. Oh, no, oh, dude, he got the George Costanza. He got the George Costanza haircut. Oh my gosh. He looks horrendous. He looked horrendous. He, he made his tie into a sword. He made his tie into a sword. Okay, this dude has officially gone insane. He has gone insane right now. And and if he keeps doing this, he's going to end up pushing Mob to the point where Mob's going to end up using his godlike powers again. Damn, Mob, Mob hit the mark with that. He's like, we're similar. Not similar when it comes to psychic powers, but similar because get, take away those psychic powers and we're pretty much nothing. You know, we don't have friends. We don't stand out or anything. Yeah, he pretty much, yeah, he hit a nerve with that. So he, Mob must be completely right. Yo, he's gone insane. He's choking Mob out right now. Um, yeah, what is he going to do? Like, Mob might have to use his powers just a little bit. Just a, just a, just a tiny bit. He has to use it just a tiny bit. Oh, he's at 72 percent. He's at 72 percent. 75 percent. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's <laughs> he's about to hit it. He's about to go. He's about to use it. OK. Is he not going to use it? He just threw a little punch. So, like, are they going to have like, are they going to have him use it or not? Because they keep making it seem like they're about to make him use it. 
Oh, so that might be why Mob doesn't really want to use his powers around people or against other people because he also hurt his brother really badly. Oh my god, is he about to go? Is he about to do it? Is he about to do it? Is he about to do it? I. Um. He just got knocked out, right? Or is like. Um. Excuse me? Is he gonna use his powers or no? Okay, so he doesn't end up using his powers. Oh, okay, I was wrong. Yes, we're gonna see him use his powers again. We're gonna see him use his powers again. This is completely different than than what we saw last episode or two episodes ago. Oh, oh my gosh, dude, what? He made him completely butt naked. Oh, oh, this is completely different. This is just completely different now because like they show the percentage, but it was all question marks. His powers are getting sucked away, but where they're getting sucked away from. It was his dingling. Yo, mob, what is going on with him? So I think, yeah, he's he's most likely unconscious. So now this is his powers kind of doing it's like doing its own thing oh my god yo 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 oh my goodness dude mob oh my gosh so yeah i think he's unconscious because did he did he regain consciousness again so yeah that's why he never wanted to so yeah pretty much um from what we saw when he's during like a, a little backflash, he didn't want to use his powers against other people or like really use his powers because after him and his brother were trying to like get their money back from some ruffians that stole it from them, Mob ended up using his powers most likely unconsciously. And so the, um, the aftermath of that was he managed to knock out all those ruffians, but he also ended up hurting his, his brother at the same time. So that's why Mob doesn't want to use his powers. And after this, he realized he hasn't changed that, you know, he caused another incident using while using his powers. Oh, but and now he's at 100 percent right now be, based on, because of his sadness, like he's at 100 percent right now. So is he going to is he going to like kind of go a little bit berserk or is he still just going to be fine, even though he hit 100 percent right now? Okay, so he seems to be he seems to be okay. But that was insane. That was insane seeing seeing Mob like that. He was just another completely different person. But yeah, two times we get to see Mob and it didn't even feel like we were, we were seeing Mob with the first time he hits 100% and then that other time where it seems like he was unconscious using his powers. They were completely different mobs. So he's about to see that mob ended up using his powers again and he ended up kind of like going crazy a little bit oh so i are we about to see what really happened like what really happened with mob back then so yeah he's saying oh that wasn't him yeah so it seemed like it's not really mob though like the first time probably was mob the second time it's probably not like not completely mob oh my gosh that was that was a crazy episode. That was crazy. Getting to see Mob kind of go, like his powers kind of go a little bit insane like that. And it seems like he was unconscious. So it seems like whenever he's like, whenever he's kind of like unconscious like that, his powers kind of just go all over the place or they kind of like end up taking control over themselves. You know, they probably like, you know, they, they pretty much just, do whatever it, it wants you know and then with uh kageyama's uh brother saying oh that time it wasn't mob so it seems like yeah it seems like mob his powers at times it does things on its own like mainly when he's unconscious i i can't get over that that was insane that was just so crazy seeing mob kind of go insane like that well not mob you know because he was unconscious because you know he was getting choked out but just seeing his powers like do something so crazy like that. And from what we saw, like the percentage, it was that it was all question marks and it didn't even look like mob. It looked like 
a completely different person, a completely different being. It was, I'm a loss for words. It was just insane. I don't even know what to say. But yeah, that was like, that was insane with Taruki versus Mob. You know, even though Mob wasn't doing anything, Taruki was doing everything to try to get Mob to use his powers. Mob eventually doesn't use it, but it ends up being used once like Mob gets unconscious. That whole thing, that was beautiful to see. I also really liked how Mob was telling like Taruki that like, oh, we're both the same, not in terms of having psychic powers, but they were both pretty average. Like once you get rid of the psychic powers, we're practically the same, you know, like we're, we are, we're average people, you know, like, you know, just that connection mob realized that they, these two had with each other, not just like, not just psychic powers alone, but like that they had like similarities with each other. I thought that was really nice to see. And because of that, that ended up kind of pissing Taruki off a little bit, you know, like he was pissed at the fact that like, oh, Mob thinks that they're similar and Taruki's like, you know, he sees himself as the main character in his world that like the world revolves around him and he got shown that is not the case at all. He, he got shown that this dude does not matter, that Mob is a complete god. But I really like the ending with this episode because it seems like there is more to Mob's power that we've seen. And Mob's powers are already a mystery, but now they're kind of stacking more of the mystery behind Mob's powers. So hopefully we get to see a little bit more of that. Hopefully like we get to see the mystery of Mob's powers kind of like get shown a little bit more because there's a lot with Mob's powers that we don't know about. But yeah, this episode and the last two episodes I end up watching, complete beautiful episodes. They were just insane but yeah i pretty much got nothing else to say so i'm gonna end the video here thank you all for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more anime reactions and more reactions in general and even for my anime and comic book discussion videos i do on the channel so if you're into that definitely subscribe to the channel like the video comment you know the whole thing so with all that being said again thank you all for watching until next time see ya